My name is Marco Williams. My film is Banished. The reality is that it is a little known history that uh, roughly between the end of the Civil War to the Depression, there are at least been a dozen documented cases where white populations forcibly expelled or banished their black neighbors and black citizens from the counties and towns they lived in. To be African American and to drive to a place where a lynching occurred did engender a degree of terror in me. Even though I had phone conversations with decent sounding people, just don't know what's gonna happen as you drive down that road and enter into that town. Burning many crosses these days? <laughs> it's a cross lighting. Excuse me, you're not burning crosses anymore? It's a, it's a cross lighting. It's an old Scottish symbol of a cross uh, embracing the fire of Christ. And uh, the clan simply reenacts this uh, old uh, Scottish tradition. The burning cross, as I would call it, is used as a symbol of terror. You're being a little disingenuous when you say that a burning cross is not. Oh, it, used I agree. To it is blacks in the American South. The camera arms me a little bit, and the people who I interrogate in quotes, who I engage, are doing it because they choose to participate. They're not coerced. If somebody says they will be in your documentary, they have a vested interest. They have, they have their own agenda. They're willing to do it. Um, so invariably, I, I, I can meet somebody face to face and engage them in a way that's not ultimately terrifying. I've come to uh, believe that there are some films that are great for fiction and some films that are great for nonfiction. And what I like to really say is that, you know, what documentary is about is real people as your characters and real life as plot. And in fact, privately or personally, and sometimes publicly, I'd like to say that it's really documentaries that make a difference and change the world.